Do we want a cashless society? Well, look, most of us pay for our retail purchases by tapping with a plastic card. <laughs> we accept the, the procedure, we're delighted with the convenience, we tap, we wave, we insert, it's fast. Uh, the enthusiasm for this technology, it's widespread, it's understandable. Uh, for many of us, a cashless society has arrived and we're pleased with its progress. Uh, others disagree. Uh, are reluctant to embrace it, and they're opposed to its widespread implementation. It's a current issue in most every country, and I examine both sides of that debate. Well, let's uh, begin with those who say, yes, we do. We do want a cashless society. Well, to begin with, and I guess most obviously, the cash society is, uh, is convenient, and, and it's one that most of us have embraced. And we remember how annoyingly complicated and time-consuming previous methods for paying bills and getting cash were. We want it. We don't want to waste our money on postage stamps <laughs> to mail a check to somebody we owe money to. And handling cash for banks and merchants is expensive. Armored cars with poison sprays and nervous guards are you know, uh, that sometimes attracts robberies and even violence. Getting rid of all this would be a blessing, uh, both to the people involved and to society in general. And, of course, uh, cash holders miss out on any interest that they might get on the balances in their accounts. Uh, interest on bank accounts may currently be paltry, but uh, they're better than nothing. And it looks like they're going to start going up as well in the current economic climate. Uh, cash users also can have difficulty amassing uh, financial histories, uh, which are needed for getting access to loans and other financial services. You need some kind of a, a financial track record and history somewhere. Uh, the cash economy benefits criminals and tax dodgers. The job of law enforcement is facilitated by eliminating it. Police often catch uh, fugitive criminals by tracking their use of debit and credit cards in real time. Uh, my wife and I know this. We watch uh, crime <laughs> programs like many people on television, and that happens a lot. Cash users and carriers attract muggers and street crime, and, and they are thus a, a gift to criminals. Get rid of cash. It's costly, it's risky, and it's unnecessary. Well, what about the, uh, those that say, uh, no, we don't want a cashless society? To begin with, it's too easy to lose control of spending and budget discipline when, it, discipline when you don't actually see the cash. In the old days, many people budgeted ho household expenses with the envelope systems, you know, one envelope for food, one envelope for rent, all that kind of thing. Well, all of that is gone, and the resulting crippling levels of consumer debt are one of the results. And many people simply hate the advent of technology, and they're resisting it. Much of this arises from uh, fear of the unknown, and as such, the cashless society represents a, a frightening other world. Uh, and we must not forget that digital payments generate vast stores of information about us. Our privacy is much more likely to be invaded. We are being watched. Um, and we're even vulnerable to possible data breaches, which uh, seem to happen more and more frequently. I'm not sure why, but uh, every day you read about one in the newspaper. Uh, the cashless society is a heaven-sent opportunity for hackers and others who exploit such uh, failures. And some elderly people are physically unable to engage in the cashless society because of eyesight limitations and, and even difficulty uh, holding uh, a plastic card and going through the motions that are uh, involved in making a purchase. In the event of a major prolonged internet outage, uh, like from a massive solar flare, a corona mass ejection, <laughs> we might even be reduced to barter. Um, beware, the cashless society is part of a nasty, 